Dating back to 2007, the second-generation Sequoia has been surpassed by newer competitors such as the Chevrolet Tahoe, GMC Yukon Ford Expedition, and Jeep Wagoneer. However, there's a new sapling in the forest, and it's heavily inspired by the 2022 Tundra. Set to arrive at U.S. dealerships this summer, the 2023 Sequoia is a radical departure from its predecessor as curvaceous styling has been replaced by sharp lines and chiseled surfaces. The front end closely echoes the Tundra, as there's a massive grille flanked by T-shaped headlights. Designers also gave the SUV blacked-out F-pillars and muscular fenders reminiscent of the pickup. They're joined by streamlined bodywork, a more modern greenhouse, an upright rear end with slender taillights, as well as prominent Sequoia badging. As a result, the third row can slide 6 inches to either maximize legroom or cargo space. To make up for the lack of fold-flat seats, the adjustable cargo shelf system features three preset heights, including one that matches the height of the rear seats when they're folded down. Moving into the cabin, the dated controls and technology have been replaced by a modern interior that largely carries over from the Tundra. It's a huge improvement, and one that's been long overdue. Toyota didn't go into many specifics, but even the entry-level SR5 variant will come equipped with a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and an 8-inch Toyota audio multimedia system. The latter is a touch- and voice-focused infotainment system which features cloud-based navigation and an available intelligent assistant that responds to the Hey Toyota Wake word. Of course, the big thing that separates the Sequoia from the Tundra is the third row. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to follow in the footsteps of competitors by folding flat. This seems like a missed opportunity, but Toyota made the best of the situation by equipping the model with an exclusive sliding third row and an adjustable cargo shelf system. The changes continue under the hood, as the Sequoia will be offered exclusively with an iForce Max powertrain. That's a promising development as it features a twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 and an electric motor that is effectively sandwiched between the engine and the 10-speed automatic transmission. While some people might frown at the hybrid powertrain, they shouldn't as it develops an impressive output of 437 HP, 326 kilowatts 443 PS, and 583 LBFT, 790 newton meter of torque. For those keeping score at home, that's 56 HP, 41 kilowatts 57 PS, and 182 LBFT, 246 newton meter, more than the old 5.7 liter V8. The good news doesn't end there as the hybrid powertrain bests everything in the Tavo's engine compartment and also compares favorably to the Expedition's 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6. In higher-end variants, that engine produces up to 440 HP, 328 kilowatts 446 PS, and 510 LBFT, 691 newton meter of torque on premium fuel.